Question four. Itumaleng makes and sells birdhouses at a local flea market. Annex C, whenever you see that, you go find it. There's Annex C, I have it on hand, right? Shows the diagram of the parts of the birdhouse and the assembly instructions. Okay, obviously your, your diagrams will be a bit clearer than mine. Um, he uses a single board that is 14 centimeters wide, right? And 20 millimeters thick to make one birdhouse. Okay, so this is a picture of a completed birdhouse, right? Because remember, he is using this board to create these birdhouses. So it says, use the information above and annex your C to answer the questions that follow. 4.1.1, show, rounded to the nearest hundred, that the length of the board needed for a single birdhouse is 1,500 millimeters. Okay, so let's look at that, right? So here is everything that we're looking at. These are all the pieces. So this board here, there's one board, right? Is split into these four pieces or six pieces. Sorry, my counting's bad there. Okay. And they're wanting us to basically show that this length here is this many millimeters, right? Which is equivalent. You should be able to do this in your mind, right? To that many centimeters because there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. Okay. So we have that. So what we need to do, I'm not starting on a new page, but for you, please remember, whenever you have a new question, you need to start on a new page, right? So there is question four, and it is 4.1.1. So let's work out what this would be, okay? So there's the roof, the side of the roof, that would be 19 centimeters. I'm doing this in centimeters, but we'll reconcile it there. The front is 23, right? You see, I'm literally taking these side profiles. The floor, right, it's put with the shorter side at the top, so that'd be 10. Then here's interesting, we have side one and side two, but do you see how they are, how here, this is the short side of side one, and this is the long side of side two. So this is the short side of side one, so that's going to be 23, because there's the shorter side, and there's the longer side. The longer side of, slide, of side two, sure, try to say all these sides many times, that's 25, right? So it's careful when you're doing this, when you're orientating it. And then this is 41. Okay, so now we have that. Let's add that all together. So we're going to say 19 plus 23 plus 10 plus 23 plus 25 plus 41. And let's get our answer there. Okay, it's all just calculated work. Okay, 19 plus 23 plus 10 plus 23 plus 25, excuse my inverter, right, is 100 and. 41, right? And that's centimeters. So let's just go back to the question. And the question said, show rounded to the nearest hundred, right? That the board, that the length of the board needed for a single birdhouse is 1,500 millimeters. Okay, so let's convert this into millimeters. That is my answer there in millimeters. Now it says rounded to the nearest hundred. Now, if you rounded this to the nearest hundred, it would actually be 1,400 millimeters, right? But that would mean we can't make our birdhouse. So we have to round up. This is this element of practicality. So that is the answer, right? So that is the answer, even though it looks incorrect. It's like a practical way of approaching it, okay? So don't forget about the practical nature of these things. Let's move on to the next question. The next question says, Itumaleng stated that in step two, the 10 centimeter side of the floor will go against the back. Verify, you're showing all calculations whether the statement is correct. Okay, so let's read over how he makes this. First, it says, nail the longest side of side one and side two to the back, okay? So we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take that 25 centimeter and we're gonna nail it there. Okay, and we're going to take that one and we're going to nail it there. Okay, so obviously it's going to take a bit of space over here. Okay, let's figure out how much space that is. Okay, let's see how thick these boards are. 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters is 2 centimeters. So that's going to be 2 centimeters there. That's going to be 2 centimeters there. So what is left over here? That is 10 centimeters. Okay, because 14 minus 2 minus 2 gives me 10. Okay, so that's how that is positioned. So that was the first thing. Then it says, position the floor between the two sides and the back and nail it in place. So there is the floor. You're going to take that 10 centimeter. You're going to slot it in between those two sides 
and that's done. So we know that that's correct, okay? But obviously we have to describe this and answer our question, but we've looked at it practically. So what are we gonna say, right? So the two sides, right, are against the back, which is 14 centimeters, okay? 14 centimeters wide, okay? Each side, is two centimeters, oh goodness, why am I writing so high? Two centimeters thick, leaving 10 centimeters for the floor to slot in. Okay, we haven't shown any calculations though, so we need to say um, 14 minus two minus two gives me 10 centimeters, and that is us done, okay? I'm just going to turn this over so that we can do our last question for this video. Right, let's get our question. 4.1.3. The front part of the birdhouse has a circular hole with a diameter of 4,2 drilled into it. Okay, calculate in centimeters the exposed surface of the front parts of the birdhouse. You may use these. Okay, so we're going to keep this on hand, but let's go back to our picture. So basically it's saying... What's the surface area of this here? But we have to subtract that out. Now, that little bit there, we've been told that its diameter is 4.2 centimeters. That's its diameter. So what is its radius? Quite important. Its radius is going to be half of that, which is 2.1 centimeters. Okay, so let's go and do these various calculations. So the area of a rectangle, right, 4.1.3, so an area of the rectangle is going to just be length times breadth, which in this case is 23 times 14, length times breadth. That's saying if there was no hole in it, okay? Let's do that in our calculator. 23 times 14, 3 to 2 centimeters squared. No problem. Now we need to get the area of that little hole right, for the birds to come in and out. So what is the area of a circle? Well, they've given it to us over here. So we say 3.142. Be careful to use the value of pi if it's given. Don't use the um, symbol. The radius, we talked about this already, is 2.1, right? And it is squared, right? Squared over there. Why is it 2.1? Well, I showed you over there, okay? So 3.142 times by 2.1 or squared, and that is 13.85622 centimeters squared. Now you could be saying, Margie, why didn't you round off? Well, we're not done. So the area of that front bit, right, is going to be 322 minus the 13.85622, right? Because it's saying the area of that rectangle, if it didn't have a hole, subtract the area surface area of the hole and let's get that right okay so my answer is 308.14 round off to two decimal places centimeters squared okay let's make sure we've answered the question properly right it says calculate this in centimeters right and we have now done that and we have done an excellent job and are done with this question